Joining me today is Natasha, pastry chef and avid blogger of Butter Baking. Your blog is sensational. The photos you take of the food, unbelievable. Of course, pastries. We all love them. What are we making today? We're making galettes. So mm. it's a really simple, kind of classic French recipe. Yes. Just yep. with puff pastry, custard and some fruit. Oh, who doesn't like that? We all love that. So what do we start with? with so we're going to start with pastry cream. Mm -hmm. So I've got some milk mm -hmm. and we'll just pop that on the heat. Yes. And I'm going to put a vanilla bean in that. Can you pass me For that? You. Thank you. Love vanilla beans. And I'll just get you to crack some eggs. Yes, of and course. And four yolks in here. Four yolks. So tell me, pastry cream, what is it for those who don't know at home? Well, it's basically just a custard. Yep. And it's a thick custard that's made with some corn flour mm -hmm. or some flour mm -hmm. and that just keeps it um, firm in the oven so it just doesn't run anywhere when you're baking it. So the milk is already scalded so I'm going to take that off the heat mm -hmm. and just in this little bowl here we've got um, some corn flour and some caster sugar that I've just whisked together and what that does is it stops the corn flour from clumping when you add it into your yolks. Aha, uh -huh. good little trick. So we'll just add it, maybe I'll get you to whisk and I'll add it. I can, yes. Just a tablespoon at a time. And that will again stop it from clumping too much. Yeah, because there's nothing worse than getting a custard and having a good taste and all of a sudden, oop, a little lump of, a little lump flour. of flour. <laughs> and so how do you have time to do a blog? And you're a pastry chef on top of it. Yes. How do you manage to do all that? Um, I don't know, you just have to find the time. I'm lucky though, being a pastry chef, you start early in the morning but you finish a little bit earlier as well. So I've got afternoons free where I can do things like that. So that's when you're on your computer. <laughs> that's the trick. <laughs> so I might that. whisk that and I'll get you to pour the milk in. Yes, absolutely. So that's nice. Not, so it doesn't have to be boiling, does it? No. Just it, it, scalded. You yeah. want to bring it to heat, so infuse the milk with the flavour of the vanilla, mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't need to be boiling. So you want to add it really slowly, just so that you don't scramble your eggs, mm -hmm. and just whisk continuously. Okay. Too fast? No, that's fine. Just a nice stream like that. So it would be a beautiful vanilla custard with all that flavour in there, mm -hmm. and we'll just put it back in the pot and bring it up to the boil, and that will make it really nice and thick. Fantastic. I see some pastry chefs, they always say, put it in a clean pot afterwards, but you put it straight into yeah, the one. I put it straight yep. in. There's I no mean, problems doing in, that. in industry, you would put it back into the same bowl and, mm -hmm. and all of that. It's not really a big deal. The heat from your custard will cook all of that egg and it's just as long as you don't have any burnt milk at the bottom of your pot, because you really don't want that in your custard. Right. I might switch out. So the consistency, what are we looking for just to know when we're taking it off the heat? So you want it to be just like that, so it's nice and thick. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, yeah, so you can eat it with a spoon yeah. and you just want to make sure it's bubbling because that's a sign that it's boiling. Okay. So we'll take that off, that's yes. ready. Got a bowl here. Pop it into a clean bowl. I'm going to hold that teamwork, yeah. I'll hold that for you and you can scrape, scrape it in. You want all of this, you don't want to leave no. anything behind. Maybe I can lick the bowl up. <laughs> Good. Absolutely. I'll give you the spoon. I'll wait for the pot to cool down first. So that's lovely. Yeah. And then what we want to do with that is we want to cover it with glad wrap and we want to do it right on the surface of the custard because that will stop a skin from forming. Beautiful. So we want to put that in the fridge till it's completely cool mm -hmm. and that will take about three or four hours. Fabulous. So this has chilled quite nicely. It's firmed up. All those little speckles of vanilla. Love it. So can you pop that in a piping bag yes, for me, Justine? Yes, I can. And I'm just going to cut the puff pastry into little rectangles for the galettes. I love the idea of doing small galettes like this because you can have a little afternoon party and um, serve these to everybody on beautiful platters. They'll just look gorgeous. Absolutely. You can do them even smaller than this if yeah. you want. You can have them little bite-sized ones. So what we're going to do, I've just cut them into rectangles and we've just scored about a centimetre in from the outside mm -hmm. and that will let the, the border sort of puff up and will fill the centre. Yum. So we'll pop these straight on the baking tray. So I might get you, once you finish that, just to make an egg wash for me as well. Sure thing. And we'll brush that on the edges of the galettes just to make them nice and shiny. Beautiful. So just one egg. Maybe I can give you a hand doing... Some fruit. Some fruit, so yes. we're just going to top them with berries today. So I'll just get you maybe to cut up the strawberries mm -hmm. in halves or quarters, whatever you like. And this is one of those recipes that 
it can change during the seasons. Yeah. If berries are fantastic, then put berries on this or in winter. I mean, do you do this in winter too? Yes. I do it with the caramel apples in winter. Yum. You can do it with um, frangipan or almond cream and top it with figs. So while Justine's doing that, I might pop the pastry cream on the galettes. Mm -hmm. So you just want it inside that rectangle that you've scored. So just a nice thin layer. And then we'll top that with the berries and they'll go straight in the oven. So it's really nice and easy. And you can have all this ready. If you've got puff pastry in the freezer, mm -hmm. you can make a custard the day before. And then just on the morning of your party, you can just put them together, which is great. I love Lovely. the fruit. So just arrange the fruit. We can do mixed berry ones. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got other berries, berries here. We might as well. well mix them together. Wow, look at that. Looks like it's come straight out of the shop. <laughs> so these will just go in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes at 190 degrees. And you just want them to be nice and puffed and golden. And then we'll just take them out and let them cool down a little bit before we dig in. We'll definitely be digging in. <laughs> So Justine, they're all ready, they're out of the oven, they're nice and crispy and flaky. And I've just dusted these ones with icing sugar, but you can also just drizzle them with honey and what that does, it makes it look like they've got dew drops. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. It smells brilliant, all those berries. Maybe we should share one? Sounds good. Okay, I will cut that in half. Look at all that wow, juice. Wow, exactly, those little pockets of juice in there. Oh, that is just scrumptious. Alright, cheers. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> the berries are nice and tart, which makes the honey work really well with them. Exactly. And that really delicious cream inside it, crunchy pastry. This is one of those things, Natasha, that is going to be so popular because it's easy. And look at them, how beautiful. Mm.